Namaste. Good morning. We're continuing on our Lenten journey. Today is day 40. Wow, 40 days. I can't even believe we've been doing it for 40 days, but we have. And um, yes, I definitely decided that even though we have one week left in Lent, culminating, of course, um, Easter Saturday would be the final, the final technical day of Lent. Um, I've decided that I'm going to continue on to share um, the journey to our inner Mecca via vid video each day. So um, be on the lookout for that. Even though we're finishing uh, this week, we'll be finishing Lent. I want to continue the journey. Um, it's been a really beautiful practice for me. And um, as we continue on, we won't start over with the journey to uh, our inner Mecca. We, we won't start over with the, the names of God. Um, we'll just pick up, you know, where, uh, wherever, wherever Sunday takes us. I mean, Sunday, I'd like to finish talking about, of course, resurrection consciousness and talk about um, Easter Sunday and its significance. Um, and also overlapping on Friday, starting Friday is, uh, is Passover. So it's just really such a beautiful time um, in the faith calendar for us to, you know, just kind of dive deep and, and look at ways in which we can connect in a deeper way with our, with our beloved, our beloved source. So today is uh, in the Christian calendar is Palm Sunday. And the interesting significance and mystical meaning, if you will, uh, interpretation that I like to uh, bring out, what, what means something to me is, you know, if you if you read the Christian scripture, the, the canonical gospels, for example, you'll you'll read about that Palm Sunday was the day really when when Jesus uh comes into Jerusalem, enters into Jerusalem in a, in a triumphant way um, on a donkey. And he rides in on a donkey and um, he's greeted by, um, by several of his followers. And they're, they're, they're saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. And they're praising him and adoring him. Um, the interesting thing is that, you know, a few days later, um, he's betrayed a few days later, you know, he's, uh, he's arrested and condemned. And a few days later, he's, he's killed. So what, what does all of this mean? There's a couple of mystical meanings that I, that I glean from it. Uh, you know, number one is here's, here's the master Jesus rides in on a donkey. What does that tell us? That teaches us about humility. A teacher. I mean, he could have he could have come in on on a horse, a chariot, for that matter. Um, but he he comes in on a donkey. That's that's not a coincidence, and um, that doesn't have a lack of meaning to it. Uh, it's you know on its face, it looks like well, that was what was available or whatever. But no, I, I believe that we're being given a lesson on humility here, and also that the ego that the ego, the physical self um, needs to come into that humility place. And that that's the pure, the pureness of heart it resides within humility. The other aspect is that, you know, in one minute you could be on top of the world um, being adored and honored and in the next minute betrayed. And that is like life on life's terms. Like that's that's what we face, you know, as as human beings in this embodiment, is um, everything can just change on a dime. But the beautiful thing of all of that story is, uh, well, we know kind of sneak peek, you know, into the how the story ends or how the story begins, however you want to look at it. And that is with resurrection consciousness, which is. You know, it's that consciousness, it's that awareness, it's that nirvana, it's that spiritual awakening, it's seeing with spirit vision, it's going beyond appearances, it's going beyond the physical realm into, you know, that which is the mystical metaphysical realm. And uh, not on a soul, not on a cellular level, but on a cellular level. And uh, so that I'll leave you with that for Palm Sunday. Um, and 
we'll continue on. Let's pray for all those all across the globe right now feeling betrayed, feeling abandoned, feeling left out. <clears throat> so for all of those who are feeling abandoned, who are feeling betrayed, who are feeling alone, we ask that a legion of angels be with them, providing them with strength and comfort and courage. And for all these things we pray. And we say amen. I'll see you tomorrow.